check the mic and make sure it sound right. Hi, I'm DK Will. This is DK Will Talk About It. And today I'm going to talk somewhat about XRP primarily. I'm going to tie in some of this uh, Ukraine Russia narrative. And I'm going to tie it in primarily to some of the videos I've done into the past to help us see where I think a future could lead with this XRP uh, debacle that's going on. And I think it should be encouraging for those of us who have been hodling onto XRP, believing in its prospects. Um, however, as you know, we can't get started without our five second intro. I think I'm going to throw it in front of me. And then I'm going to throw it behind me and we're going to walk into this video. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right. Well, there's no, <clears throat> excuse me, there's no hiding from the news. With uh, Russia having invaded the Ukraine, um, of course, one of the retaliatory actions from the uh, U.S., of course, is uh sanctions and sanctions primarily of cutting russia out of the international financial system swift uh they have made it a point to get cryptocurrencies into the news um, central bank digital currencies are in the news and now we have russia coming off of swift in the news and so you can see this article was from saturday yesterday i'm doing this video on sunday the 27th of February 2022 it's four o'clock my time I'm in the central standard time of the United States but as you can see US and allies begin cutting Russia out of an international financial system swift and of course they're going to give more scare tactics just as they did with the scare of Russia invading Ukraine and it's all building up for a reason and I think that reason is financial I'm going to tie in how I think that reason is financial and I'm going to do so using some of my prior work because interestingly enough, even though they're saying they're going to cut uh, Russia out of SWIFT, we can see here the statement said that uh, top European economies, Britain and Canada, would disconnect selected Russian banks from SWIFT, which will severely hurt their ability to operate internationally and prevent Russia's central bank from using its foreign currency reserves to evade Western sanctions. Is that really true? Um, I'm going to give you an outlook that says that might not be as true as what they're saying. It says, while much of the international debate has focused on SWIFT, the steps against Russia's central bank and rich Russians could be even more striking and painful for Moscow. Rich in a socialist communist government, huh? We'll go after their yachts, their luxury apartments, their money, and their ability to send their kids to fancy schools in the West. The ruble will fall even further, inflation will spike, and the central bank will be left defenseless. Sounds pretty bleak for Russia now. You think they knew this could happen? My answer to that question is undoubtedly yes, because you can see from this article here, Russia ready to do without SWIFT and Ripple News, and you can see that this article was done by the staff in February Oh, excuse me, of 2018. I can't, why am I having so much trouble highlighting that? There we go. February 14, 2018. And so Russia was anticipating this. It says here that the calls for Russia to be stricken off SWIFT have been active since 2014, folks. And even back then in 2018, they said in an official statement that if it were to happen, they were prepared for it. How did they prepare for it? Well, I'm going to hopefully answer that too. Again, um, from Ripple News, I'll have the links at the uh, description part of the video. It says here from an article that was October 16, 2020, that um, at least five banks in Russia are interested in testing the central bank country central bank digital currency that was in October of 2020 and folks more than a year has gone by since then 
And we can see here they were considering pilots of their central bank digital currency, known as a digital ruble, in the first half of next year. Now, the first half of next year from when this article was done, which was 2020, would be 2021, the first half of 2021. And so here's a, something to recall or remember or consider when reading these news articles. By the time they release news to us, it has been preened and propped and pruned and fixed and fashioned so as to relay a message that they want the masses to have. But the meat of the matter has already taken place and now it's all part of what I call the show. I'm going to um, hopefully explain that as well because see Russia has not been playing in when it comes to blockchain technology. They also as you can see back and oh, I didn't want to allow but it's too late now July 22nd of 2018 they were researching blockchain technology for military applications and development grew in local businesses so Russia turned to blockchain way before anyone could attack their economy through sanctions with SWIFT but as I said I believe that's all just a show folks and I'm gonna explain why I think that's all just a show here on um, this article here and you'll notice it says South China Morning Post on MSN. Isn't that interesting? But it says here the title of the article is Bit by Bit Central Bank Digital Currencies, CBDCs, like China's, will eat into US dollar hegemony. Okay. Do we really think the US is going to let the dollar go down without a fight? Reading this article, it says these CBDCs. They messed up there. CBDCs is what it should say. Will soon include the Russian ruble. Are likely to finance a good deal more bilateral trade. Thus weakening the U.S. dollar's role in trade. And so it looks like the U.S. is falling behind because, yeah, you can stop the messaging system of SWIFT. But can you stop blockchain from going through the wires and the Internet of value? Sound familiar to you XRP holders? It says while the dollar can still will still carry weight as a transaction currency in which countries invest their international reserves, the balance of power seems destined to shift. Currency has long been waged by the United States and others against the likes of Japan and China. The tables could be turned before long, however, if target nations weaponize digital currencies against attackers. With the strong economic sanctions being levied by the U.S. and others against Russia, the issue has assumed greater importance, and that's the point of this video. The incentive for Russia to accelerate digital currency development is greater now that Russian banks are being denied access to the SWIFT international payment networks. Folks, Russia was already ready four years ago for this development so let's not be fooled that they're not even more prepared four years later we know there was release of in information in 2018 where they were working with ripple and working with the um interledger protocol and the on demand liquidity and very much likely be using the hub that was set aside the private hub for central banks russia is ready so what's really being ha happening here is it appears the squeeze is being put on the United States. But is the squeeze being put on the United States? During that first half of uh, 2021, uh, back in July, actually, a uh, second half, I released a video, um, World War III. The USA prepares nuclear bombs to win the war. And I clearly uh, specified their Ripple, XRP, XRPL, on-demand liquidity, Flare, Spark, equals Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Boom. And that's what I really think is going on. I still think that's really what's going on. And when I did that video, there was a portion that I'm going to uh, let you listen in on. I'm going to hope that the uh, sound is right when I get back to this. So I'm going to 
cut here so to make sure of that. As we go into uh, listening into this portion of this video I did in the past, and of course it's a shameless plug for my work, um, I want you to start refashioning your perception and to think that maybe who you think is the enemy is not, and maybe who you think is the friend is not. Maybe the narrative is not the truth. And this says it well, and so I'm going to let it do the talking. Again, from The Art of War, it reads, all warfare is based on deception. That's darkness, folks. Hence, when able to attack, we must seem unable, SEC. When using our forces, we must seem inactive, and the court case. When we are near, we must make the enemy believe we are far away. Discovery to last for another month or two. We must, when we're far away, we must make him believe we are near. Well, let's consider this. The United States has created a Trojan horse and multiple nations, central banks, private banks, financial institutions are embracing the technology of Ripple all under the guise of the United States of America's financial structure and legislation is at odds with Ripple, while country after country adopts this new technology into their financial infrastructure. It was Brad Garlinghouse who said that the United States is the only country on the planet that views XRP as a security. But that's the same Brad Garlinghouse that was meeting with Jay Clayton. Jay Clayton meeting with President Trump. Do we really think that the United States of America, the SEC, the Treasury, Clayton, Garlinghouse, the President, are all unaware of the power behind this nuclear bomb, XRP, ODL, and the XRPL? instant liquidity and how about the narrative yes and how about the narrative if you'll recall back when uh, trump was in office there was a time he visited russia he and uh, vladimir putin were up on stage vladimir putin decided to take a soccer ball and he took the soccer ball and he tossed it to trump and said the ball is in your court president trump and trump tossed the ball over to his wife melania Folks, the reason I'm saying that is because Russia is going to get around these sanctions. And when Russia gets around these sanctions, I expect that there's going to be a national security issue because the hegemony of the U.S. dollar is going to be under threat. And if the U.S. dollar is under threat, that's going to give the government some powers that hopefully will benefit those of us who hold XRP. I'm going to talk about that, but I wanted to plant that seed in your mind as we continue to listen further. Those are the type of questions that we need to consider. Those are the type of questions and thoughts that we need to dwell on as we await the dropping of this nuclear bomb. Could it be that both sides know whoever wins this war and control of XRP will control the financial world? Is that a possibility? Did the previous administration under President Donald Trump put in to place and into action and motion the war strategy here's another art of war quote the greatest victory is that which requires no battle 
If other countries are willingly adopting XRP and the XRP ledger and the on-demand liquidity, if they are willingly making it a part of their financial infrastructure under the guise and belief that the United States is falling behind and suing this country with this wonderful, excellent technology, isn't that the best Trojan horse? This article went on to say that with the advent of central bank digital currencies, a development in which China is playing a pioneering role, which includes Russia's plan to introduce a digital ruble, there may be wider international use of the currencies of other major powers, thereby undermining dollar hegemony. Digital currencies could erode the exorbitant privilege that the U.S. enjoys from the dollar, being the world's main reserve currency, and thus also reduce its power to print money, accumulate national debt, and run up trade deficits. As International Monetary Fund Managing Director Christina, Kristalina Georgieva put it recently, the history of money is entering a new chapter. And folks, we have that new chapter if you own XRP. Because the U.S. is not going to be tricked into losing any type of battle and willingly give up their hegemony of the U.S. dollar. And I have this in front of you because I think this might be one of the outcomes. Remember, national security right national security is described as here national security or national defense is the security and defense of a sovereign state including its citizens economy and institutions which is regarded as a duty of government originally conceived as protection against military attack national security is widely understood to include also non-military dimensions including the security from terrorism minimization of crime, economic security. So it becomes a matter of national security now because the war has begun. And so once it becomes a matter of national security, we can find ourselves with an executive order. And if you look up an executive order, you will see that an executive order Ah, that's a telling you one about it da, 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 that we're talking about for gold. It was signed in April 1933 by U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt, forbidding the hoarding of gold. Aren't we hoarding our XRP? Gold bullion and gold certificates within the continental U.S. Aren't we the only country isolated from XRP more so than others with this SEC lawsuit? The executive order was made under the authority of the Trading with the Enemy Act of 1917, as amended by the Emergency Banking Act in March of 1933. I hope you can make the parallels on your own, but I'm going to try to talk about them just a little bit because this is DK. We'll talk about it. Isn't XRP much like gold if now Russia is using the on-demand liquidity and the interledger protocol to go around the U.S. dollar? Fortunately, doesn't the U.S. have the company that runs that inside its continental borders? And so if you recall from my videos, if you let everyone willingly take it on and Russia pretend to be the enemy <laughs> while the ball's in the other court, so that there is an excuse for them to declare that it's systemically important. And now that it's systemically important, they can issue an executive order. And that executive order is you got to sell it. They've already made it so that you can't buy it. So now you have to sell it. And guess what? We're going to tell you how much it's worth. So we should appreciate those people like Vin, uh, that capital group that put in the offer for tens of thousands of dollars, basically telling the government, don't try to snowball us. But I can see folks that in this world war that we're in, 
World War III? I can see the United States government declaring XRP significantly, I mean, excuse me, systemically important as a matter of national security. And so consequently, there is an executive order. And that executive order is you have to sell that XRP. You have to get it off of those Ledger Nano S's. You have to give it up. Because Russia is threatening the hegemony of the U.S. dollar, which is the world reserve currency. So we got an atom bomb that we're going to drop on them. And that atom bomb is XRP. And they took it on willingly. And when they took it on willingly, it was so great because we didn't even have to fight. I'm DK Will. This is DK Will talk about it. I hope I've sparked all kinds of thinking. And I've talked about it. Have a wonderful day. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right.